Our next Table Topics contestant is Gary Penn. <laughs> Gary Penn. Tomorrow is Earth Day. The purpose is to increase awareness of the Earth's natural environment. Our agricultural system is often at odds with the health of our planet and ourselves. Name two to three ways that we can view our food and improve the health of ourselves and our planet. Again, tomorrow is Earth Day. The purpose is to increase awareness of the Earth's natural environment. Our agricultural system is often at odds with the health of our planet and ourselves. Name two to three ways that we can view our food and improve the health of ourselves and our planet. Gary Penn. Thank you, Madam. Topics Master. Honored guests, fellow Toastmasters, and dignitaries. <laughs> Planet collapses. Could happen. No more food. The system dies. Something causes the collapse. Maybe it's a large animal at the top of the food chain being gone. Maybe it's the small animal at the bottom of the food chain being gone. Either way, it's an impending problem. So what do we do? Well, there's a variety of steps that we can take right now to help ourselves, help our children, help our children's children and generations to come. The steps are relatively simple to take, so easy that you wouldn't think that it would be difficult to implement these choices. First, shop local. Shop local is not a difficult choice. There are farmer's markets abounding throughout the United States in your local communities. If we provide resources to the farmers, we are taking resources away from large agriculture, from chemical agriculture. This, in turn, provides more funding into the community, provides more funding into organic food, provides healthier food for ourselves and children. Second, Buy organic when you can. This is second to local. Local is more important. Local saves fuel. Local provides community resources. But when you can, buy organic. Why? Because sometimes you can't get bok choy at the farmer's market. So if you want bok choy, try to buy the organic bok choy that's at least not grown with pesticides. This is then reducing a second step, which is the chemicals that are in big agriculture are at least being reduced in level. These two simple steps can help us achieve a better balance in our food system, bring money to our communities, and improve the health of the planet, not just on this Earth Day, but every Earth Day to come. Thank you very much.